Residents in the Northeast are dealing with the aftermath of a powerful ice storm that snapped trees, downed power lines, and left hundreds of thousands of customers without electricity. President Bush has declared a state of emergency for New Hampshire and nine counties in Massachusetts. Federal officials have also been sent to help out in New Hampshire, where utility officials say power may not be completely restored until late this week. That news sent grocers into a panic. We were able to keep our store open and help customers with their necessities um, and try the dry goods and the coffees, the newspapers and breads and things. But uh, unfortunately, we've lost all our perishables and we're not selling any perishable products. Uh, so it's pretty much everyone's camping out here just trying to get muddled through and, and doing the best that they can. And we're trying to help them in any way we can. Some residents are trying to use the frigid weather to their advantage. Last night it got down to about 10 degrees, so we didn't have any trouble keeping our frozen foods uh, frozen, but uh, <laughs> we were also frozen in the midst. Temperatures dropped to the teens in some parts of New England. Maine hit a low of just two degrees above zero. About 300 National Guard troops have been deployed in New Hampshire. They're mostly in this town helping with the cleanup, but officials say they're also checking on the people who decided to tough out the storm at home. We, the guards are helping us do uh, welfare checks on the residents to make sure they understand that we have a shelter open. They, they can come up here, get water. Uh, if they need assistance, they can contact us. There are reports of at least four storm-related deaths. Three people died of carbon monoxide poisoning from home generators. The fourth was a Massachusetts utility worker who went missing while checking on storm damage. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.